started this vlog in a bus. Um, Mom is right there. Oh, outside was damn, damn cold. I, I even failed to vlog, but then we are going to have a long day, and I expect the best news ever. So we are coming along. <laughs> I'm so excited that I've been waiting for this day for over. Um, two months can you imagine okay maybe like one month and three weeks it has been a long way but finally i'm going to be getting the news that i've been waiting for so did i say good morning good morning guys i'm doing well mm, i didn't get breakfast but i had a pack of milk i had some milk as i was waiting for the bus it's seven already it's late i know we came at 6 30 Surprisingly, the bus left us two minutes away as we are crossing, you know, so let's get going. This journey is going to be two hours right, which we are going to take. So I'm going to take a very good nap. Yep. I've woken up now. We are still on the way. Yeah. Mm. Traffic is mob, but the good thing it doesn't take that long. Just that you find it frequently. That's the only problem. I'm just as surprised as you. Usually the bus do stop in the park, so oh. we are getting out from here. Oh. Mama, Nisha, Oya, Oja. So guys, we are here waiting for our DB. You can call it Uber. Most of the common used means of transport in China, more so my city bus. Uh, the bikes and um, the bicycle and the bikes, right? Yeah. What else? Those are the commonly used, as you're seeing. Yeah, people are taking bikes to go to work. So we are waiting for our Didi. Then we go wherever we are heading. Do it like. So, guys, our Didi is here. So, guys, we have just bought it as I was telling you. Most of the used means uh, we use Didi, we use tax, uh, buses, we also use bikes and taxis. But taxis are very rarely used and I've used the taxi once. Most of the times I do use Didi reason being I just copy and paste my address. Wow, see how the sun is kissing me from there. It's kissing me right, right. <laughs> okay, guys. See us later. You might wonder why I'm not with hubby or why we didn't 
come with hubby uh, hubby had an appointment at the immigration i don't know immigration okay passport office you know so he had to go and renew his passport that's where he went the days collided i had to be at the side today and he also had to go to renew his passport and his national id as well i like how things in china don't take long because they told him he'll getting he'll be getting it in three days so that's why i didn't come with him and i had to come with mom yeah let's wish him the best that side so that he also get what his passport done is he planning to travel mm -hmm, of course yeah that's why he want to work on his passport he has been busy and this is that good time he has got anyway, and we couldn't postpone both our programs like let him go or oh, tomorrow or oh, i also come the next day it was relevant for both of us to come or oh, to go wherever we had to be today fingers crossed for us guys yeah I mean, um i'm a bit nervous because i've been waiting for these results for a while and now i'm going to pick them so fingers crossed i expect good news only good news yeah I'm well versed with the city now, guys. <laughs> I can't get lost. Imagine. Wow. Even if I was alone, I could. I could manage. But, but even if I was alone, I could manage now the city. I can take myself. I can go back home. So, not bad so far. Mama Nali. Guys, it's me who is directing mom where we are heading. <laughs> I've been here before with Habi, guys. Yeah, this is not a park. All these people you're seeing here, they are either patients or people attending to patients. Guys, we are in the hospital. Um, the doctor said I wait for 30 minutes. So I'm waiting. I will not show you more of hospital vlogs. I respect people's privacy. This is a hospital. People have different reasons why they are here. Issues. So I really respect that. Yeah. But let me tell you guys today we had trouble getting outfit. More oh, so that t shirts. Hey. I changed like six times. Imagine I woke up early. I, I, I wanted to use 10 minutes dressing up. I ended up using 20 minutes looking for the outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll be getting some t shirts. Last time I said I'm not buying outfits, but I really need some free t shirts. We are leaving the hospital. I haven't started to tell you the good news, but what I can tell you, and this is the hospital's neighborhood. This is the hospital right here. But they sell a lot of things, the baby stuff, in case you come when you're not prepared. Like on this street, they have everything. It's like, should I say street corner? Yeah, they have everything, and there is a farmer's nearby. Anyway, I think I'll tell you the good news when I'm settled. Right now I'm moving and I want to turn the camera for you to see the street foods that are sold here and I want us to see what we can get for ourselves. Where 
What would you do, Mama? Ni show rent a mention. So guys, hope you are seeing the street foods that are sold within the hospitals. In China, everything is sold, more so than breakfast and everything. So you can't starve. So guys, we are back home. Yes, I wanted to share with you when I'm settled, when I'm calm, because earlier the place was noisy and it was the hospital, guys. I told you I love respecting people's privacy. Everyone is at a hospital with different reasons. It's not like a market or a crowded place where you're free. Some people love privacy, so I really do respect that. I don't want to be a reason for someone to be like, oh, you posted me on the video. I didn't want people to find out about me and all that. Anyway, guys, um, we are going to be having ice cream. This is my favorite ice cream from McDonald's. Strawberry. This is the ice cream I only eat. Let me just you. The last time I went out with Happy and Mom, I ordered, I got some ice cream. I tried it. It didn't go well. So <laughs> that's the only ice cream we really love. And we are going to be having burger. Yes, I also prefer fish burger to any other burger. Guys, you'll be like, Gladys, don't eat junk foods. I rarely eat them. As you have seen me, I usually prepare my meals at home. Uh, if we go out, I also eat prepared meals, not junk food. So it's just once in a while, even in a month, it can be like once or none. So guys, I told you I have good news, which is so exciting. I'm super, super excited however it might slightly be like mm, gladys why should you be excited of, on something like that yes, let me tell you i don't know if i become if my baby comes it will be worse but all my instincts everything about me is you know on champion every prayer of mine the last thing and the last the last and the first thing i think about when i'm going to bed is my baby yeah also my husband because i call him to say good night i also tell him good morning but i be like god protect my baby i can see my husband is doing okay uh my mother-in-law is fine you people you okay but champion right here i don't know how champion is doing it's just inside there i only feel that kicks i don't know so much about what is happening the only thing i can do is to pray and wish my baby well who doesn't love that you know Anyway, guys, um, we are celebrating. What are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? Let's have our ice cream here. What are we celebrating? Guys, let me tell you. Today, we went to the hospital before. Mama and Happy are not home. So, I will not be preparing dinner. Uh, we are going to be eating uh, separately. Happy is having some good time with the boys. I told you he had went to renew his passport. This is how our ice cream looks like. Whoa, really? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. So nice. This is the best ice cream I have ever tasted. Mm. I was telling you. Mm. I told you Happy went to renew his passport. So I gave him a call earlier and he was like, I'm not yet back. I'm still having some time with the boys and the girls. Uh, OGs and OBs. I'm like, okay. So I was coming back home with mom. Mom met up with a friend in the bus. And guess what? Mom decided to follow the friend. <laughs> Everyone is catching up. I was like, 
let me come and i catch up with my family here my my online family <coughs> my online family mm. this ice cream should let me talk in peace let's see what we have here so guys what happened is um we found out i have fibroids and doctors said we should run some tests i was having pain around this area the abdominal pain i sometimes i could even have had time standing up but i, I decided to first pray about it with not alone with some other prayer warriors of mine and then potatoes I didn't know they served potatoes as well I tried making chips here mine couldn't come out well unless if I do them from the air fryer but just frying them. People, why would you give me one ketchup? Me, I eat ketchup like crazy. This one alone. Anyway, I was telling you, family. So they told me that this you have fibroids. And these fibroids are the one causing the pain. Apparently, there is nothing we can do about it apart from make, running some more tests and see so we went to the hospital and they were like okay wait for the results they had new year so i had to wait for a long time oh guys i even got tired of waiting and today was the day, day um, i had to go pick the results and guess what they were saying before they told me mm, two this is nice before they told me my fibroids are multiplying like crazy they are really multiplying it was worrying me i could feel pain um i read on the internet it was saying sometimes it can cause miscarriage i was so worried about my baby and some would say mm, they can multiply and eat up their space and baby doesn't have where to go from i got panicked and i was so scared so i didn't know what the results are saying now when we went and we picked the results get what guess what the doctor was like okay the the fibroids are no longer multiplying um you okay everything is okay so, guys i was so happy knowing that my baby is doing well <laughs> champion <laughs> champion did some kids so i was so happy guys that's the best news of my life my baby being fine and yeah the fibroids not multiplying doesn't mean that we don't have the fibroids anymore but at least they are not multiplying yeah and the doctor said i shouldn't worry about anything they'll handle when the time comes so um i'm searching more about the fibroids it's not like i know much about them i'm just learning but champion ice cream eh? made you just move stop moving Guys, I wish I wish I should I can I wish I can open the t-shirt for you to see. Champion is moving. When I eat something that champion loves, hey, champion, I can feel you. Okay, relax. I'm bringing more. <laughs> I love talking to my baby. So, guys, that's the good news I wanted to share with you. Yeah, let me enjoy my dinner in peace. Hubby is not home, mom is not home, just me and you. Mm.